Mistake there. Mikhail's made the mistake. Elliot's now in. And he's beaten Courtois. A fantastic start versus Chelsea. Elliot gets the opening goal. And he finds the top right corner. It's Gareth Bell to take. Oh my god, what a goal! It's gone in. It is perfect from Gareth Bell. We've taken a two goal lead. And it's a fantastic free kick. And his second free kick of the season for Gareth Bale. Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of the Southampton career mode and today we're going to start off with the final game of 2017. Got a question of the day which involves two different teams. So at the moment on screen you can see two teams that are still from Europe and the second one is from South America and I want you guys to leave comments down below with which team you would go for. So leave a comment down below. I do for Messi and Neymar or do you want Ronaldo and the likes of Robin on your team. So leave a comment down below. Which one do you, would you go for? And let's get into the first game of the episode. Anyway, let's get into the first game now. We have now got the first game versus Hull City. They're currently in 19th place and we are currently in first. Three points clear Chelsea with the game in hand. This is going to be the first part of the transfer window. So if you guys want to see another episode today of the transfer window, smash a like on the video and can we have a 500 likes? Right, let's get Thiago into the game now. Can he work his magic? It's a great ball over to Tadic. Oh, he's headed down only as far as Geis. Play the 1 2. Now look at Lacazette making the run into the middle. Now, can he get a ball into the middle? But he's ran out of play. But I can see Bale just waiting there and he would have finished it. Here goes Rodriguez. He's going to go with a shot and it's saved by Jakubovic. But so far, we've only had, I think, one or two good chances. So we need to start playing some better stuff. Robertson on the ball, finding Quinn. Into the middle now to Diame. He's turned. It's Diame. 1 0 to Hull. And they're so annoying to play against because they play so defensively. I always have a problem against them. And Diame has scored the opening goal into John Stones. He cuts inside. Here goes Stones. Lacazette wants. Lacazette. What a save from the goalkeeper. Stones is there. And it's over the bar. But that was perfect from Lacazette. All up to the finish. And he's put it straight to the goalkeeper. Diame with the ball in. Zuma not there and it's 2-0. Where the hell was Kurt Zuma? And I think that's Ndoy who scored the goal. Hull City look like they're on their way now to a win. And Kurt Zuma, like he forgot where he was. And in the end it's a free header. Bale's going to take the second corner. This time to Sule. There we are guys. I said we need to score from the corner. And we have done so. Sule gets his goal. And maybe a chance to get him back in the game. Gaia's going to attack. Look at the pace there from Gaia. He keeps going. No one in the box yet. I can see Lacazette. Can he finish? How does he miss that? That's the easiest chance he's going to get all season. And he's just missed it. It's just not been his day. Still have time to get a goal. Tadic now back into Gaia. It's a good ball as well. Gaia to the bar line and he went too far. But it's going to be a corner. But the full time whistle has gone. Why didn't he let us take the corner? But there we are, guys. I think that's now our second loss of the season. Uh, but we still have that three-point gap over Chelsea. But now it is time to go into the transfer window and maybe sign some more players. We have got 16.2 million to spend in this transfer window and maybe a few players to sell as well. A player that I wanted to sell for so long in the series is Tadic. Even though he's had a not bad season so far, I still want to try and replace him with either Memphis to pay or maybe Kishner. So with the Tadic, he still wants a new contract and I think he wants 70,000 a week. And it's just too much of a player that's not really making too much of a difference. So you can see I've actually transfer listed him. And hopefully someone goes for him. But we've also got Ward Prowse. So I'm not sure if I want to sell. I also got Nathaniel Klein who is up uh, basically because he's unhappy. And also similar with Gazaniga. But first of all we're going to make an offer for Oxlade Chamberlain. So a lot of you guys have said to go for him in the comments down below. He's cheap. And also what I like about him is that he's versatile. So he can play as a right midfielder, a left midfielder, a cam and also a centre midfielder as well. So starting off with an offer of £5 million. Uh, just to see what Arsenal say. Another former Southampton player that you guys wanted to see back in this team is Callum Chambers. So he's in bad form. I'm probably expecting that he hasn't played much in this Arsenal team. So we'll go with an offer of two million and let's see what they say because Nathaniel Klein is injured. I haven't really got any other good right backs. So Callum Chambers is the perfect player who will hopefully play for the rest of the season. Uh, by the way, I saw a lot of comments uh, saying to go for a goalkeeper. Uh, but I think I'm happy with Forster and also my other goalkeeper uh, who I bought from Real Sociedad. So I think I'm going to leave out the goalkeeper. I've seen so many options like Perrin or Simon Scuffe as well. But I think I'm going to go for a centre midfielder instead. So we've got Blaise Matuidi, we've got Verratti and also Pogba. 
and we've also got Hoberg as well and finally Juan Mata and I look through some of these players and the main player would also be Paul Pogba he's 87 rated and 24 years old and he's just got some incredible stats but I just can't afford him because he's 33 million pounds and I only have I think 20 million pounds and the only reason I, or the only way I can get him would be to try and offer up Lacazette and I just don't want to sell Lacazette so that leaves me now with Juan Mata and I think this will be the guy I will go for. The main reason I want Juan Mata is because he'll be perfect as a cam, obviously next to Thiago and Geist in that three midfield. And of course I mean that Emre Chan could play now as a right back. But basically as his contract is expiring in six months time, I can get it for so cheap. So they want between 8.6 million and 13.4. So let's just go with a straight offer of 8.6. And let's see what Man United say to the offer. So before we move on into trying to sign Juan Mata, we're going to move on now into the first game of 2018. And we're going to start off with a game versus Sunderland. And hopefully we can get another win because that was now our second loss of the season. And we're now only three points clear of Chelsea. That's a good tackle, is it? Yes. Oh, it's a penalty. It was a poor tackle in the end. At first I thought I got the ball, but Gaia has given away the penalty. And only a yellow card. It's been a poor start to this game. So Sunderland do deserve to have this chance. Defoe is going to take it. And I think he's going to go right. And go straight down the middle. And Defoe has scored the opening goal. And yet again, we are losing. Again, the space. This time for Giccarini. Off the post. It could have been 2-0. We're saved by the post on that occasion. How much space there was for Giccarini. And the ball comes in again. And wide from Rodwell this time. Ball comes in again. Good header there from Sule and we get it clear. Right, come on. Here we go. Lacazette. It's 1v1 and another injury. Could this game get any un more unlucky for us? Like, Sule's gone down now. On comes Kazuma, But mainly that is unlucky because we were one-on-one -on -one with the defender. Lacazette versus whoever it was. And he would have scored. Can we get a goal here? Back now into Lacazette. Right, keep going. Now cut back inside. Lacazette to finish. Off the line it goes. Elliot keeps going. Look at Lacazette in the middle. It's a great ball. And he's missed it. Lacazette missed another chance. And again, it's in the last few minutes. He should have scored it. But he misses. And I just keep getting unlucky. And it's just not my day, is it? And there goes the full-time whistle. And we have lost yet again. This time to Sunderland. And I still don't understand why. With Sunderland winning the game 1-0. They were still all out attack. So that made it fun for the last few minutes. So a transfer offer for Lacazette. This time from Bayern Munich. And they've offered 55.5 million. And what can we go with this? So do I want to sell him and try and get some more players like Pogba. And maybe another striker. Or use Bale as a striker. But at the same time, I don't want to sell Lacazette, so it's going to be a no. Lacazette is going nowhere. So here we are, guys, into the third round versus Middlesbrough and our first game in the FA Cup. So this season, I said I would play all the FA Cup games. I want to try and win this trophy this year, as well as the Premier League and, of course, the Champions League. So Jay Rodriguez, right, can we find Lacazette in the middle? Ball comes in. Lacazette is there and it's over him. I thought he was going to get there, but Tadic is there and it's a save from the goalkeeper. But I thought that was a perfect cross there from the, I think, target, I think. Or maybe Jay Rodriguez. Bale's going to take the corner. Good as well. Into Geis. And it's in the back of the net. Geis has scored it. And what a relief that is. And it's his first goal in a Southampton shirt. That's a good ball as well. Into Clayton. He's got past. Into the middle. And it's off the post. And in for Middlesbrough's first goal with their first shot of the game. It just really sums up today's episode so far. So we're going to make three changes as we go into the second half. As Miyuka, Komen and Dybala coming on for Lacazette and Gareth Bale. I think the other one is Elia. So let's try and get the winning goal. Ward Prowse with the ball in. It's a good one as well to Miyuka. There we are guys. Miyuka with his first touch yet again has scored the goal that puts us in the lead. And he's so good. Like, why don't I use him more? And I thought Zuma would win it. But in the end, Miyuka came out of nowhere, beat the goalkeeper, and puts it in the back of the net. Now into target. Can he go with the long shot? Oh, it's a great save there from the goalkeeper. Did not expect that from target. But where can we go now? Komen. Oh, it's unlucky. But we've definitely been better in the second half with Miyuka. And Dybala making a big difference. Right into the middle now. Here goes Miyuka. Now into Dybala. And it's in. Dybala scored it. Finally a good enough goal in today's episode. Great land cup play there with Miyuka and Dybala. And we are through to the fourth round of the FA Cup. Oh, that's a good ball. Uh, that's Forster's and here we go. Last chance maybe for one more goal. Over the top from Rodriguez. Great ball into Miyuka. He's got past. 
Has he got the pace and the power? He goes Miyuka. And he's beating the goalie again. It's 4-1. And in the space of about a minute, we have gone from 2-1 up to now 4-1 up. And there we are, guys. So the full time whistle has gone. And today's episode will be another four-game episode. Uh, purely because we have lost our first two games in the Premier League. I'm happy we won this game in the FA Cup. But now it is time for Chelsea versus Southampton. So they want 17.5 million. And I'm not sure if I can go with that much money. So I'm just off it. So maybe I could offer up Tadic as a possible replacement. So Tadic is there. He is worth £12.5 million. And we'll go with an offer of just £3.5 million plus Tadic. And let's see if they accept that one. So here we are, guys, into another first versus second game. We are currently three points ahead of Chelsea going to this massive game. And we come into this game with two losses. Chelsea had won the last game. Uh, that made this game even more exciting. But they are three points behind. And a win from them could take them top of the table. Uh, but only if they win like two or three nils. So we need to get this win and get back on form. Poor ball there from Fabregas. Now can we look to Lacazette? Can Lacazette finish it? What a save from Courtois. How much did he know about that shot? Because he did look like a good save. It's Remy on the ball again. Find Oscar. And just wide there from Oscar. But Chelsea, since our bright starts of the game, have dominated. Because we can't clear a ball. Like our team... Don't know how to clear a ball, even though we are top of the table. Here's Gareth Bale. Chance here. Look at Lacazette making the run. It goes to Lacazette. Can he keep going? Look at Lacazette's pace. Now, can he finish it? Straight to Courtois. And the chip doesn't work either. But Courtois, he is unbeatable sometimes. And what a save that time. But Bale's going to take the corner. Let's look for Kurt Zuma in the middle. Instead, here to Elia. And if he'd won the header, like, that would be been amazing. But headed away there from Chelsea. Back into Thiago, he cuts inside, now through to Lacazette, can he finish? And he does, Lacazette scores it, we are taking the lead versus Chelsea and who else but Lacazette scores the goal. Fantastic work there from Thiago, he beat Javi Martinez, a fantastic ball through the middle and Courtois had no chance and that's Lacazette's 19th goal of the season. Lacazette finds Elia and Elia's pace must be too much, it's Elia now to finish it and it's in the back of the net. Elliot scored it. We are now 2 0 up versus Chelsea. And the counter attacking play is too much yet again. And we're on our way to three points. And of course, six points clear of Chelsea. Oscar finds a way past Oscar. Good save again. But how have Chelsea not scored? We've had so many good chances. And look at Thiago here. Too good. Look at that. Right now, can he find the run of Gareth Bale? A great ball as oh, Elliot. But he's just offside. Aspilicueta on the ball. Ball comes into the middle, Ward-Prowse not there, great block in the end, and again in the way, I can't get to Willian, and he scored the goal, and five minutes left, and maybe a chance for Chelsea to get back in the game. Chance again, comes over, but Zuma's there, and there goes a the full-time whistle, what a fantastic way to end today's episode, and finally a win in today's as well, because we beat in Chelsea, which makes us six points clear at the top of the table. But as I said, it's going to be the end of today's episode. And if you want to see another episode today, smash the like on the video for part two of the transfer window. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next episode.